guys welcome 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 we are getting ready to do some more turkey okay these are turkey flats and turkey uh, tips so we didn't have enough flats so I asked me smarty pan to go get more so these are not seasoned these are so this is what I am going to do all right we're going to bake these and they're going to be like oven fried all right so here I have some oil actually it's lard all right so you just want to take it and you kind of just want to cover it you know it's almost like it's fried okay this is my way nobody else's mine just mine okay you're gonna keep doing that so what do you do you're gonna cook it bake it for about an hour and a half within that last almost half hour you're going to turn them over okay turn them over take the foil off of it so this side can be crisp so I'm even going to do this because I got to re-season them anyway and then in the bottom of your pan well I'll just get to that part Thought I had enough here. How was your day? Hope your day went well. Hope you didn't have a lot of drama in your life. Okay, so I've already greased them. And so I'm just putting, you know what I use right here, www.carlisonspices.com. Just want to put it on here and also the oil that you uh, rub it to your meat helps the season stay on too as well and you just keep doing that Okay, I'm doing the ones that I didn't season. So these is going to be baked. It's actually going to look like the deep fried one that I did uh, a week ago. And this right here is just the Lord. So use your, your, your oil. It works better. I didn't have any. So you use what you got. And I was going to make potato salad with this, but I didn't. It's kind of late. Miss Smarty Pants gets after me about doing things kind of late. Okay, so I'm going to move this over. Get my other pan. And what I did was spray that with Pam, you know, because you don't want your your wings to really stick. Even though I put the the oil on there. And if you feel you have too much seasoning on there, just shake some off. Okay. to give it a little room and I don't think all this is going to fit but we're going to make it do what it's going to do and I love the uh, the tips as well Okay. 
you know, I'm just going to put those tips in another pan. Because this is not working right now. Maybe I could keep some on here. You want to give him just a little space in between. All right. Hold on. Okay, so I'm using water. Now you want to put a cup and a half to two cups. Here I'm putting two cups of water at the bottom of the pan. I have my oven preheated to uh, 350. Okay. Yeah, about a cup and a half. And what it's going to do is steam from underneath to make the the turkey a little more tender and get done quicker. You gonna get some lumen folks and you're gonna cover. You put it in the oven for, on 350 and you're going to bake it for about an hour and a half. Just go back and check it. If you see that your underneath is done, you take the foil out. Okay, take it off and then cook it some more. So that's where you want it to start to crisp up. Okay, see you so I'm going to make the buffalo wing sauce. Okay, so I'm using red hot. You can use Tabasco. Your favorite hot sauce that you like. Alright. And I didn't have much left in that, so. And I'm using melted uh Kerrygold stick butter. Melt it. Just put that in there. Now you can get creative if you want to. You can add some uh onion powder. You can add whatever you want to add in there. But if you already season your chicken. And it's got spices in there then I wouldn't add all of that in there you just want to mix this up and keep mixing it until it all incorporated mixed together and if it don't then zap it back in the microwave okay like I said you can get fancy with your buffalo sauce if you want to you can add chili pepper in here you can add whatever you want to all right okay Do so that. after an hour and a half i removed the foil of course you see me flip it over and then after that i put it on uh convection bake 400 and i did it for about 15 minutes that helps it to get crisp but do it because my turkey uh, things are kind of big you know it took a little longer so you want to put them in here into your hot wing sauce stir it around coat it drain it And if you want to, you can put this back in the oven and even let it get more. But you don't want to overdo it because you don't want it, your turkey flats to dry out. Okay. Put the other ones in. And they smell so good. And this is the final season of turkey. Okay, I'm gonna do this in. And I love the, the tip of the uh, wings. I love those. Actually, I would let them get even crispier. Just 
till they almost burnt. Take that out. Alright, I'm gonna plate these up. Be back. Okay, so here here is my uh buffalo turkey flats. Here it is. And the buffalo sauce that you made, make it as a dipping sauce. I'm going to try it with uh, sweet chili sauce. Uh, I'm going to try it with that, see how that tastes. And here we go. Now, like I said, after the hour and a half after you, you, you baked it, take your lumpo off, okay, which is aluminum foil, and take that off, and then let it bake on convection bake on 400 for about maybe, how many did we say? Maybe about 15 minutes? No. About eight minutes? 30 minutes. Yeah, keep checking and make sure you don't burn it, okay? And then you wanna flip it over, all right? So there you go, here it is.